you know, there's this video that I was, you know, just kind of thumbing through Facebook and this video popped up of, you know, this one black woman, she, you know, showed her transformation and this sister lost a good amount of weight. And, and like I said, I was like, Oh man, this is so impressive. So let me show you the actual video real, real quick you know, of her transformation. And I'm gonna get to why I really made the video. Now, as you saw that sister lost a total of 158 pounds. Let's give her a hand clap on that. Like, man, that, that is some work. And, and, and she deserved all the accolades with her health and anything else that's going on with her. Right. But the reason why I made the video is not about her transformation, which is very positive. I made the video because black men, black people also, but I'm talking about black men. Let me pull up this comment up on the screen here. So you see this one black man, you are beautiful in both versions of your body transformation. The second one, 297 version was sexy also. And those two comments is the reason why I made the video. Now some black men complain about black women's weight, but y'all have to understand there is a big percentage of black men that encourage obesity in our community. Well, black people in general kind of encourage obesity and I'll get to that. We talking about black men in particular. Do you know, like, think about it. Why do you think some black women say, I don't want to go to the gym because I'm going to lose my curves. We've heard them say this many, many times. Even the crystal and Karazin has said that they told her that many, many times, right? Why would they fear losing weight for what? Even though their doctor could say, Hey, your weight, it's not good for your health. This is a health issue. This is not a, a vanity issue. Now, you know, yeah, you, you know, you lose weight, you look better, you look younger, X, Y, Z, but it's more so about your overall health. You have black men out here that encourage obesity, bottom line. And why would they lose weight? But at the same time, you'll complain about that woman at 297 pounds for a woman, almost 300 pounds. She could have been dealing with high blood pressure, maybe on the borderline with diabetes, it can possibly, she could have had sleep apnea affect her breathing in general. Her knees could have hurt. Her ankles could have hurt because that amount of weight, that extra 158 pounds on her frame wasn't meant for that. But that, you know, for the way she's at now, that was, that's the right way she should be. And for you to be encouraging sisters to be almost 300 pounds and saying, Oh, you look, you look good. Or you look sexy at 300 pounds. Then you want to, then you want to talk about why some women in that weight range have this confidence and come. This is what, this is where Lizzo come from. See the Lizzo attitude that some of y'all say, I don't watch she act like that. Why she's talking like, because a lot of you brothers have encouraged that you have. This is why they hated Kevin Samuels because he would talk to him about that. And they never liked it because some of you brothers, they, they don't even tell Kevin, well, I can still get men anyway. So what, what, what is it about my weight? How many times have you been told that? And they're not lying. When they say that to Kevin, they, they were not lying to him at all. They would still get some of you black men, but we know what kind of black men they would get. They'll get black men that's broke. They get black men that's dusty. That's the kind of black men they would get. But still, it's still, they still will get one, a man, right? Not the top tier man, but they will get a man. Or now let's talk about the black community in a whole. You can't tell me that she wasn't even, that's, that's the dating aspect with men. Let's talk about the whole. They have women that'll be telling her, why are you losing all that weight? Especially losing that much weight. Why are you, why are you losing all that weight? You will look better when you, when you was, you know, the way you were. Oh, oh, you starting to look sick now. Look, you losing weight? Something wrong with you? Now, you didn't say something was wrong at 297 pounds, but now, now, now at this weight, something wrong with you. You need to eat. Or, and shout out to Cookie Dyer from a Watch Cookie Shrink YouTube channel. She was 300 pounds and she lost all that weight. 
And Cookie had told me to my face that she lost friends and family members when she lost weight. She said that people saying the same thing to her. You're looking sick. Like, why, why you don't want to eat what we eating? Um, you know, I feel some sort of way being around you, you know, because she started getting attention that they wasn't getting, right? Because she got herself in shape. So you, you never have people in the black community when they see you gain 20 pounds. Hey, man. You know, you kind of gain, you gain about 20 pounds. Look like, man, you gonna get sick. Nobody in the black community tell you that. Only if you're losing weight, they got something to say. So you can't be encouraging obesity in the community, black folk, and black men in particular, with the women. You can't be sitting up here saying that to her. That gives her like, oh, shoot, I don't have to do anything. I'm cool. But then you get on social media talking about women's weight. You can't like have it both ways, bruh. I'm just saying we need to stop encouraging obesity in our community because it's kind of killing us in the community. High blood pressure will kill you. Diabetes will take you out of here. It will. People can, people have died from sleep apnea. Life's things that we can control. Do you know about 90% of the, the illnesses in America? A lot of it is through diet. And they, they say we can literally cure 90% of our illnesses in America. If we just change our diet and work on ourselves. And I know in this country, it's not easy. Trust me. I know it's not easy. If anybody don't, I know it's not easy. I know it just takes time, hard work. It's very easy to get in that slump and not exercising. Trust me. I know back in May, I was heavy. Oh, I was heavy. A few months at that time, I dropped 40 pounds. You know, I'm on, I'm on my regimen one more time to knock it completely out where I want to be. Right. You know, I check, check this one week of doing what I'm doing. I already dropped three pounds. Like I said, I, I'm going to be, be exactly what I want to be in the next few months. Right. But it just take time. It take time. It take effort. You know, we can't eat the pizzas and the candies and, the, and drinking the sodas. We got to fall in love with water. You know, that sort of thing. We can't eat fast food. We can't be drinking ourselves to death, smoking up everything, ruining our lungs. We, we, we got to think a little different as a community. But we don't need to be encouraging, you know, uh, uh, sisters in the community or even brothers too. Don't be encouraging a brother. I like big men. I love a big man. Like, okay, it's, I'm not saying you won't be with a dude that sticks skinny. I'm not saying that. But don't be saying you love a big man and the brother's like 350, 400, 500 pounds. Don't, we need to stop encouraging obesity if we want our people and our community to live with longevity. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? We need, we need to do that because we just got to do everything we can. We got enough on our plate in, in America that we're dealing with in the area of stress because stress, whew, stress can take you out of here quicker than anything else. So we just need to encourage good health. And like I said, I'm proud of this sister of, of what she done. Her transformation is, is, is awesome. But brothers give her more of a hand clap for her transformation. Don't be telling her, and she, she used to also look good at 297 pounds. No, 